In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Navman Fuel 3100. When the LCD here starts losing some characters or parts of characters or goes goofy, what you have to do is take it apart with these uh, eight screws and pull this, the two halves apart, pull the bezel, the front bezel off, okay, and then snap out the LCD with, on this corner here with the, with the screwdriver, you snap that out then the LCD will will come out and the problem is the uh, connection they used it's a little ribbon like this that is heat sealed against the circuit board and then also heat sealed against the LCD to make the connections well Apparently my unit got a little hot or something and the connections to the circuit board uh, had failed in some places. So I take a surplus LCD like this, which you can buy um, for like anywhere from two to seven dollars, and take it apart by turning these square like this and then this comes apart with a screwdriver here. Don't worry about breaking anything because the thing we want you see that circuit board? Here's the only thing that we want that we need is this rubbery part here and you can just peel it off like this. And don't worry, you, you can't hurt it. It's, it's almost indestructible. And then you take a, a pair of cutters and trim this half off. Leave the black part. That's the part we actually want. Okay, and you trim that all the way down until it's long enough to make all these connections here. And then you put you put it, oh, you clean off your LCD, the backing, clean it off real nice, and you'll see just shadows over the connectors. Place this like that. I put a little hot glue just to help hold it. It doesn't really stick to it, but it kind of keeps it in position while, while you do this. You're going to take your LCD and press it against, and that'll make the connections like so. Make it nice and square and then all you have to do is push. Now when the screen looks a little goofy slide it just a little bit to the left and to the right until you get the correct reading which in this case will be will be 13 volt, 13.9 volts and you can see when you press it here and here it's making all those little connections for you and this is really the right way to do it and the way they should have done it because it's very reliable. So when we assemble this now, we'll take and put some rubber between here and the outside of the case to push like my thumb is. And then everything should be good. And so Navman should take a note and uh, change their design I think I would uh, from this unreliable uh, uh, connection here uh, to uh, much more robust <coughs> and reliable uh, connection like we have here. Thanks for watching. Hmm.